here, Friday night at 8, WDCN 8. Hello, I'm Harlan Dodson, and this is WDCN Channel 8, our public television station. Presentation of this program is made possible in part by this station and other public television stations and by an additional grant from Bullock's Department Stores and Bullock's Wilshire Specialty Stores, who believe in bringing excellence to viewers through public television. Presentation of this program was made possible in part by this station and other public television stations and by an additional grant from Bullock's Department Stores and Bullock's Wilshire Specialty Stores, who believe in bringing excellence to viewers through public television. Was the great city of Troy destroyed by a decade-long battle, humbled by slashing swords and fire? Was this whirlwind of doom caused by the theft of a beautiful woman? Or is the tale of the Trojan War Homer's poetic symbol for the tragedy of all wars? Can the archaeology of Troy be squared with the legend? Over the next few weeks, Michael Wood will lead us on an exploration through Turkey, Greece, and Berlin in pursuit of the scattered clues of this Bronze Age mystery. Each clue brings us to fascinating conclusions as we join him in his search for the Trojan War. Next week, the legend under siege. In Search of the Trojan War, the companion volume to this series by Michael Wood is superbly illustrated with full-color photographs. The book is yours by calling toll-free 1-800-441-3000 or by writing to this address. An exciting detective story probing a mysterious past. In Search of the Trojan War is available for $22.95 plus handling. Call 1-800-441-3000. Please have credit card ready. In Search of the Trojan War is also available in your local bookstore. American Playhouse presents... Good evening, Miss Toklas. Feeding the fish. Oh, we were just taking a drink before supper. Perhaps you'd like to join us. Waiting for the Moon. An imaginary vision of the rare and beautiful relationship between Alice B. Toklas and Gertrude Stein. Linda Hunt, Linda Bassett, Andrew McCarthy, Bruce McGill. Waiting for the Moon. Next on WDCN 8. Hello, I'm Mark Russell, whose next comedy special on public television is forthcoming. You know, every once in a while you have to remind yourself that this is not the election year. No, no, next year, 1988, is the election year. This is just the boring prelude to next year's main monopony. How do you pick a candidate? Well, I tend to choose the one whose speeches make me cringe less than any of the others. Wednesday night at 7, WDCN 8. You may have noticed that whenever the Soviet Union makes news in a big way, Chernobyl, for example, or Afghanistan, or maybe the Korean airline incident, there's one man who invariably turns up on American television to give us the Russian side of the story. The man's name is Vladimir Posner. He's one of the more intriguing characters I know, and as it happens, this station is about to air a program about him. The name of the show is Not Your Average Russian, and I can tell you it's Not Your Average TV Show. Join us Wednesday night at 7.30, WDCN 8. Dance, drama, sculpture, and painting. See it all on Tennessee Arts every Sunday at 5.30, right here on WDCN Channel 8. Quick, write this down. Good Health, Pueblo, Colorado, 81009. Now you can send for a free packet of government health information on diet, exercise, and more. Do it now. Hello, I'm Frank Crowell, and this is Channel 8, WDCN, our public television station in Nashville. Please be advised that some scenes in the following program are of a mature nature, and some parents may not wish their young children to view them.
next on American Playhouse. One spring, Gertrude learned she was ill, and the illness was serious. Waiting for the Moon, an imaginary vision of the rare and beautiful relationship between Alice B. Toklas and Gertrude Stein. There are facts, and there are ideas. She never talked about facts. Ideas were much more interesting. Linda Hunt, Linda Bassett, Andrew McCarthy, Bruce McGill, Waiting for the Moon. The presentation of American Playhouse is made possible by the nation's public television stations, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the National Endowment for the Arts, and by the Chubb Group of Insurance Companies, for over 100 years providing business and personal insurance worldwide through independent agents and brokers. The presentation of American Playhouse is made possible by the nation's public television stations, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the National Endowment for the Arts, and by the Chubb Group of Insurance Companies, for over 100 years providing business and personal insurance worldwide through independent agents and brokers. Oh, I'm Mark Russell, whose next comedy special on public television is forthcoming. You know, every once in a while, you have to remind yourself that this is not the election year. No, no, next year, 1988, is the election year. This is just the boring prelude to next year's main monopoly. How do you pick a candidate? Well, I tend to choose the one whose speeches make me cringe less than any of the others. Right here, Wednesday night at 7, WDCN 8. You may have noticed that whenever the Soviet Union makes news in a big way, Chernobyl, for example, or Afghanistan, or maybe the Korean airline incident, there's one man who invariably turns up on American television to give us the Russian side of the story. The man's name is Vladimir Posner. He's one of the more intriguing characters I know, and as it happens, this station is about to air a program about him. The name of the show is Not Your Average Russian, and I can tell you it's Not Your Average TV Show. Join us here, Wednesday night at 7.30, WDCN 8. It's going to be difficult. They always are to begin with. But not for long. Oh. This week on Mystery, Tommy and Tuppence pursue the missing lady. What if she didn't want her? What do you mean? What if she's been kept there against her will? Be assured, Madame Moskovskinsky, here you will sleep as sound as in the grave. Agatha Christie's Partners in Crime on Mystery. Thursday night at 8, WDCN 8. Take a moment to think about how much the programs on this station mean to you. Now, take a moment to make your appreciation felt. Write out a generous pledge of support and mail your check today. You're watching WDCN, Channel 8 in Stereo, a service of the Metropolitan Nashville Board of Public Education.